trying to sneak around on him. Hey, what's up, guys? We got the uh, we got cops at the door. We're gonna play repeat, okay? We're gonna try to play repeat. Practice. Repeat, guys. Hey, how are you? Jake, how are you? Good, good. Is that Officer David? I think I saw you last year. You were mm -hmm. talking in the square or something. Yeah. So, you know why we're here? Do you know why we're here? The video that you posted on YouTube of your dog. With the, the video that you posted on YouTube with your dog? That's the one that you, uh, you posted. The one that, the one that you posted? Clear some up. You're trying to clear some things up? I don't want to charge you for people killing the dog. I don't want to charge you. My dog didn't kill no deer. I didn't want to charge you for nothing. I know, but we're just trying to clear that up and make sure that you didn't kill the deer. I'm just trying to clear it up and make sure that you didn't clear the deer. Dog's bullet, correct? It is bullet is correct. Okay. Well, we need to know, you know, where this is. If you could show me. We need to know where this is. If you could show me, do you... just to clear you up, because like I said, I mean, if the deer survived, I would like to know that just so we can clear your name. I just think you're a little bit out of your jurisdiction for even clearing my name or even holding it. Well, we have statewide jurisdiction. Yeah. Well, we have statewide jurisdiction. Um, so like I said, we're just trying to figure out if the deer is alive. Would you mind staying where I can see you while you're on my property? Um, like I said, can you just like tell I me said, where it was? Can you just tell me where it was? Deer. You're the so detective. There's no, deer carcass here. That's all I, there's no deer around here. That's all I want to do. Well, we need to know. Um, well, we need to know. Is. Essentially, so now in the where it is? That the, uh, the deer survived, but we want to clarify that so it's, it's easy on everybody well that's why i told you it was you're out of your jurisdiction well we're not out of our jurisdiction we're in the state of pennsylvania well do you want to go get the deer or is it if you could take me to it or show me where it's at i could show you where it happened but it's out of your jurisdiction okay. and the deer run off so you'd have to track them down where did it happen where did it happen well you said it's out of our jurisdiction so it... well and then i think we're about done with this conversation well we're trying to clear up did it happen in well PA? we are trying to clear it up yeah, we're trying to make this easy on you. I told you it's out of your jurisdiction. So did this happen in, uh, in Maryland? So did this happen in Maryland? You said we're trying to make this easy. Like I said, I, there's easy nothing. You, I, I mean, I'm just playing repeat with you guys. We're play, you're playing around, I'm playing around. Well, we can play around all day. We can play around all day. You heard that, Officer Nash. Knash. You pronounce it okay. Knash, I apologize. I have a foreign name as well. It gets butchered in English. Yeah, I've been dealing with it my whole life. I understand. So you pronounce it Blizma? No, nah, it's Bilsma. Do you pronounce it Bilsma? I pronounce it however you pronounce it. Uh -huh. Same with my hands. So, did it happen somewhere close by? Did it happen somewhere close by? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, you're the investigator. Well, like I said, we're just trying to clear this up. I'm just trying to document this experience. What? Please tell us where to look. So that we can you please keep your maintain your, your, your distance? Can you please maintain your distance? I just want to. We just want to know where, where the fawn was. So How does it feel to want to know? How does it feel to want to know? Well, we're trying to help you out in the long run. I'm trying to help you out in the long run. If you just tell us where it happened. We can make I told it you it's out of your jurisdiction, and we're still talking, so I'm playing repeat. So did it happen in Maryland? So did this happen in Maryland? You can play games all day. So Let's play games all day, man. I've got a lot of people. You guys are over. Why are you repeating everything I say? Why are you doing that? We're just asking you why you're here. You were here to play games. We're here to play games, remember? We're playing repeat. You know your dog chased down the spawn. You posted the video yourself. You know that. I posted the video myself. I know that. You can help us out and tell us where it happened. We can confirm that. I told you everything you already needed to know. I confirmed it. Um, you didn't confirm anything with us. You didn't didn't confirm anything. I confirm anything with us? You're just repeating us. You're just repeating us. Okay. Okay. The other thing, too, we have... The other thing, too, we have... You know, your dog is running loose. Was it on mm -hmm. private property or public? Uh, private? well, when a dog is a service animal... You have the documentation for that? Uh-huh. Okay. But, I mean, even if it's a service dog, is it has it... to be on some sort of restraint, whether it's a leash, a harness... Do you know what circumstances we were under? So if it's on private property, I mean, and you have permission to have your dog there, it can run free. 
So I told you guys you had nothing to worry about and you were out of your jurisdiction. So did it happen on private property or public? Did it happen on private property? Hey guys, give me a thumbs up. Come on, spread this around. I'm gaining. Give a thumbs up. I'm not talking to you. Okay, you live streaming it. Yeah, we're live streaming right now. I expected this to happen. YouTube or Facebook? Uh, 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 YouTube. Okay. Well, why would you do something like why that? Why would you do something like that? So that so that people can see that the state will send someone down here for absolutely no infraction whatsoever. But you got but the state will uh, charge me for five years for getting stabbed. I, I heard. I kind of vaguely heard about that. Mm -hmm. Why did they charge? You, you saw it on the channel. They charged they charged me with a felony for picking up a cigarette butt holder after I disarmed the dude of his pistol and ran away and then he chased me down on two CCTVs of Walmart and I had with two knives with two knives and I had to fend him off with the plastic cigarette butt holder that I picked up at the front that everyone was there watching like a flock of birds and I had to fend the dude off with that thing only getting stabbed to the bone one time and to keep it quiet so and also that I wouldn't testify against him they lost the two CCTVs of it and then they charged me with aggra with a uh, felony aggravated assault for fending him off successfully, only getting stabbed once with the plastic cigarette butt holder that I had on the ground. So he started it and you got charged? Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. He got out of his car. They, none of it made the report. It, this is how the police, the uh, Pennsylvania State Police and law enforcement around here operate. Yeah, I'm sorry that happened. Yeah, I... that, uh, right, sorry's don't do anything. I'm looking at five years for standing in the same public building for disorderly conduct that the same guy that stabbed me for disorderly conduct in the same building that the dude that pled out for disordered conduct for stabbing me. Why did he come at you in the first place? I'm just uh, he pushed his cart upside my pop's car, and he was like 20 feet from the cart return aisle. So I was a smart ass, and I like pushed it back in front, of, halfway back for him, you know, helping him, but like left it in front of his car. Yeah, so he couldn't pull out. So he got out and then ran up and choked me and said, "Do you know who the fuck I am?" So I knocked him out like split second. Like I actually let him get that close because I thought he was just some old slob. He was just gonna come up and choke me. But then uh, he ran up and choked me. I was like, "Uh," and that's how he got hands on me. I just knocked him the fuck out. And then, he, huh? Glenn Kessler. He's got ties into the cops in town, some of the fraternal organizations. You guys don't know about him? One of y'all's department uh, actually um, charged him, and I couldn't find out what the actual charges were, but he ended up pleading out to having a loaded handgun in his vehicle 13 months before he did this to me. So he's already a, fire, uh, a, a firearms you know, uh, violator, and he still has his pistol, and he did it to me again, and uh, he still has his pistol, and Sheriff James Muller is si still signs out. He's still carrying it around with everybody. Oh. Yeah, I got to oh, bump into the guy. Well, I'm, yeah, it actually kind of does. I know that's what everyone says, and then they turn a blind eye to it, but you're Pennsylvania law enforcement, and you're down here trying to enforce no infraction, so nothing to happen wrong, and I'm looking at five years for getting, for, well, for getting stabbed. That's the ridiculousness of this situation. It was no infraction. Well, it is. Your dog chased down a deer. Did the dog chase down a deer? Like you said, I mean, that's a terrible thing that happened yet. Right. Oh, I'm just showing the disparity of law enforcement in Pennsylvania. I mean, yeah, I know you guys are unwitting suspects, but, uh, you know, that that is the disparity of law enforcement in, in Pennsylvania. Well, you can't paint us, us all with a same brush. Well, you know, I had about 30 police officers from there uh, turn a blind eye to make that happen and on top of losing two CCTVs of it. And uh, really, y'all just got called down here for punitive, uh, you know, charges against me again. Because I'm out on bail right now for, for that. So if I get arrested again, like, uh, I'm not going to be able to get on bail for like five weeks. Right, I'm sure. And why did you get sent down here when the state actually has a dude running around, still armed in public, stabbing people? Why are you guys down here? Uh huh. Uh huh. And no, yeah. And, and you're law enforcement, and you saw that, like the guy, the guy that stabbed me, put, got an illegal sentence of ARD. You know, that's like only, only. Well, because you can't get that as a violent offender, and he stabbed me, and he's a repeat offender, a violent and a repeat offender, and he stabbed me. Yeah, you can't do it. Pennsylvania law, it's uh, only for first-time nonviolent offenders. That is the statute. So well, that that's I why. Some my charges on people mm -hmm. for reduced ARD under the same circumstances. So do you guys know, have, you know, your department uh, picked up Glenn Kessler and cited him for having a loaded pistol in his car 13 months before this. Did you know yeah. about that? I'm telling you, so, yeah, exactly. Uh, I'd have to look it up. I don't remember my head but i can't i can't find the actual full report on it i just pled down to having that firearm glenn 
G L E N N K E S S L E R. I it was somebody. I I, I yeah. I don't think it was either y'all. Yeah, it might have been. Listen, Jake, there's no conspiracy with us, but anyway, we're just trying to respond to uh, this, this simple video. Um, yeah, it was a video online and everything was fine, but I'm stabbed and I got to bump into the guy that stabbed me and he's still armed with his pistol in public. That's the disparity of law enforcement in Pennsylvania. Can you just so work just with us? Can you tell us where it was at? That's all we're talking about. That's all I'm talking about. Are you going to do that for us? Are you going to do that for us? Jake, we don't want to make the situation any crazier. Jake, we don't want to make the situation any crazier. Yeah, I just asked a question. That's all, baby. Asking you, I mean, if you want to see animals... Play, I'm asking a question, too. Why is Pennsylvania sending law enforcement down here about a dang video where everything was fine and no infractions or other... And I'm standing here, I have this. This, according to the court record, and ARD did not happen. But that has nothing to do with it. It absolutely does. The, the, it, it shows the disparity of law enforcement. That's why I'm live streaming right now. Oh. If I could get the DA to worry about his buddy stabbing me as much as y'all worried about a video of nothing going wrong or any infractions... Posted online of, of, of a deer. Why, why, why do you think they, he charged me with a felony if I would have testified against him? Why do you think he gave him an illegal sentence? Why do you think they, it took three people to do that, even a judge? It, that's why, man. Y'all are helping me show, unwittingly, I guess, you know, show the disparity of law enforcement in uh, Pennsylvania and America. You're just trying to hear, and I'm trying to uncover a uh, stabbing scandal that happened in, in oh, Gettysburg. That's, that's, that's to do with why we're here. It absolutely does. That, that's why I got charged with a felony for getting stabbed. And I'm um, looking at five years for standing in the public building where the same guy uh, pled out that stabbed me to disorderly conduct, which is a follow on charge for me for standing in the public building. Mm, no, uh, I actually I got charged. I got charged with felony aggravated assault for fending him off with this plastic cigarette butt holder that wasn't nailed down. After he chased me down, after I disarmed him and, and he chased me down and stabbed me. Did you say since you didn't testify, they withdrew that charge? Well, yeah. If I was going to testify, we were going to have to go to court. They were going to pull the charges, and my attorney said it'd be like a thirty thousand dollar fee. And the only reason I agreed to plead out the disorderly conduct was because he was getting charged. Uh, he was getting ARD, you know, I knew about that, which part of the stipulation on that is m legally mandated to pay uh, restitution to victims. Well, the victim's advocate up here, uh, Cindy Kidney, she denied it to me. And she actually, to give him ARD, she had to put him through the program, which is six ways through illegal. So, like, it's a triple conspiracy, that I'm telling you. And I'm really working on a video right now exposing the town's HUD fraud. And that's, again, why I'm fucking uh, being held on, like, five, year, five years of charges for standing in a public building. That's, what, again, why you guys are down here looking at an internet video and not some dude running around still armed with his pistol that stabbed me and got, got pled out to disorderly conduct illegally. Well, we act on things that we come across ourselves that get reported to us, not anything else. I can send it to you if you want me to. Would you be able to send, would you be able to forward that to like the FBI that ignores it? Would you then believe me that this is some big cop state, uh, you know, controlled conspiracy? Anything that we uncover as a potential crime, we're obligated to report and to show the, the proper, you know, jurisdiction. What about like official extortion? Would you guys report that for me? Yeah. You would. If it was, sure. Why wouldn't I? Because you'd be the only two police officers in Pennsylvania that have? I can because 30 police officers that responded to terroristic threats at that Walmart turned a blind eye to it to let the same investigator that lost the two CCTVs of it at Walmart also lose child rape kit pictures. The whole town knew about that. That's what the whole HUD fraud is based out of. That, that's, that, that's the whole thing. This is how Gettysburg operates. Huh? I've been investigating them for three years, and I was, that's why I got arrested in the courthouse because I was following a case with the... Uh, 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 the president of the county bar's daughter and then weaponizing the courts against it and it's like laid out so i was trying to follow, follow that and while i was trying to attend that like the, the you know uh president judge michael george he changed all the rules so like press couldn't attend and uh like just specifically for me like the day that i asked he changed the rules 
So, uh, yeah, that's why. I'm telling you, it's a big state conspiracy. Yeah. Army. I'm, I don't frolic in the surf. I don't frolic in the surf like a Marine playing grab ass. I, I'm fucking around, so then you understand, man. I got, I got a lot of, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I was Iraq. You? I was 12 Bang Bang, combat engineer, bomb stepper. Low-level bomb tech, like, you know, hey, guys, there's a bomb here. You know, come, real bomb guys. Uh, well... I, I'd say because, you know, my veterans director up here, he's uh, Stan Clark. If you look on my channel, he actually stalled my case on purpose to hide for these guys up here. I've got him like calling the cops on me for asking them for help. That's on the channel, too. That's what I mean. This is how big of a state conspiracy this is. Okay. Uh, all I want to do is find out where the fawn was so that we can check the place. I couldn't tell you because he ran off. That's why I pulled my dog back and gave him a minute to recover. We just need something to put in our report that shows that, okay, we didn't find a fawn there. That's all we're asking. Well, if y'all leave a card, I will email you all the stuff you all want to know. And then and then if y'all y'all said that, like, if you uncover crimes, you're going to forward it to the right, correct authorities, right? Well, I don't know, dude, if you don't tell us about the fawn, it's the main reason. We're not going to do anything else like that for you. But... You said you enforce laws, and you said that you enforce them everywhere, no matter what the law. But now you're not going to because I don't enforce the laws that we come across that, that you violated. care about. No, that we that we find out about. That was pretty transparent. If I come across any crime, we'll act upon it. That's our duty, it's our obligation. All right. So if I email you all these crimes, you'll do something about it. You'll report it to the correct authorities. Well, people will say that all the time and give me false reports and give me. I got video. I've, I've been at this for three years. I've got like 50 some odd videos. Well, I don't know how he feels, but if you, if you want us to have credibility, if you, if you want us to feel credibility for you... Well, how do I trust you? Good. I've had 30 cops turn a blind eye to what just happened right there in an entire justice system. Well, do you understand how my hesitation is, and especially with you guys showing up here looking at, at a video of a deer, and I'm standing here with like this hole in my arm that according to court record didn't happen? The, well, do you, do, you, do you understand it from my perspective, then? I think I do, but I don't know enough about your story. What, do you just, this, I'm telling you, this stab wound and the website that y'all pulled that video off of, that, that tells you everything you'd ever want to know. Well, that's according to your perspective. Uh, yeah, pfft, it's video, man, how you can watch it and interpret and see how they hid my stabbing. On video. How, uh, on video. So I got charged with a felony for getting stabbed. You, so the stabbing is on a video? That they lost the two CCTVs of it, but they did. I have videos all about the, him getting ARD. I have videos of my veterans director stalling my case. I have video of every, of Dan, State Representative Dan Mao, of Senator Doug Mastriano. Everybody knows about it. I'm sorry? What's that? You have a video of what happened to you, the whole thing from start to finish. What, at Walmart? No, the cops lost it. They took, they confiscated it, and they lost it. And they didn't put any of anything I said in the report. And they asked the dude's wife and put what he said in his report. Or, you know, the guy's wife. Oh, was a CCTV video that was because we were right there on the edge, parked on the edge, where there's a CCTV looking straight at you. And then when after I disarmed him of his pistol and beat him with it, knocked the rounds out and ran away, I ran to the front of Walmart, right in the front, where it says, like, you know, how tall you are if you're robbing the store. And they have cameras right on that and they release video and cameras right on that every time people shoplift out of walmart but for some reason the, the miraculously got lost in that moment that i got chased down and stabbed by a guy that later wow. illegally pled out to disorderly conduct and ard for stabbing me if that is the real truth and i don't blame you for being bitter and just stressful honestly but again i i don't think we deserve to be treated this way by you mocking us and repeating what we're saying just for asking are we repeating what you're saying is it a simple thing i told you exactly what you needed to know right well, off the bat y'all are just getting me watch time and likes that's not what we need to yeah do. it's out of your jurisdiction and nothing wrong happened yeah i told you you can give me that card if you want and i'll forward you all of the uh illegal things that you guys want to want to investigate well, I would be more inclined to trust you if you guys actually did something about, uh, you know, investigating me getting stabbed. Well, we're not, we're not at the FBI to investigate your incident. 
So then what are you going to do? You said you would investigate it if it was a crime. If you send us proof of some crime, of course we're going to... So if I send you my victim's witness, Cindy Keeney, giving a guy that stabbed me ARD, you're going to report it to the FBI. Well, what's that? Because it's illegal to give it to a violent offender. Well, I think, I don't think the FBI would deal with that. I would think that the... The attorney, the, the, the attorney general is prosecuting me for standing in the in that public building, you know, because I've uncovered so much of this in Adams County. Every single judge recused themselves from my case and all prosecutors got relieved of their duties because he hid my stabbing. So the attorney general's prosecuting my case right now. I'm telling you, that's why you guys got sent down here. I wasn't sent by anybody. <laughs> so you just like magically decided to come hang out? Somebody sent us a video. Oh, so you were sent by somebody. So if I send you a video of the uh, of the Whitman's Victus directors giving an ARD to a violent offender, you're gonna do something about it? No, we cannot. We cannot start investigations of something that don't deal with a, a wildlife matter. Okay, if I come across it while it's in process, surely we can. But we cannot start an investigation. So you came out here to investigate something about, about a about fawn, and I'm gonna, f and then you're gonna come across when I email you all of this illegal crap that's going on. Yeah. You're not giving me anything to trust you on. Okay, well, we'll give to him and see what so my email's on here. Thanks. Right there. Got it. All right. Appreciate it. You send that over whatever you have, mm -hmm. and we'll look at it. We'll look at it together. Thanks. Yeah, I uh, appreciate it, gents. Yeah, hey, Ben, if y'all good law enforcement, I really appreciate all your efforts. It's just that, like, I, it's a learned behavior on my part. It's a situation. I'm looking at five years for, for investigating County throwing a Chomo case. Same cop that lost the CCTV of me getting stabbed. Yeah, he threw a Chomo case, lost child rape kit pictures, and the entire town did it because it's hiding their HUD fraud. That's that's why I'm looking at five years. I've been at this for three years. I I've been at this for three years. After I was medically separated from the military, I continued my education and I continued my work in the defense industry. But how do you know this stuff about HUD and rape and all this stuff? Like, how do you because I investigated, because they drew a sand in, they drew a line in the sand with me. They're going to jail. I'm not, you Google my name in the papers and I pop, pop, pop up as some dude that like freaking chokes girlfriends and beats up old guys in parking lots when it's actually the exact way around. And that, and that's, that's part of the big conspiracy too. Like, why isn't the paper picked up on any of the stuff that's going on? I'm telling you, this is all a learned behavior on the part of Pennsylvania law enforcement. Well, thank you. I appreciate your patience. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. That'd be great if I could get... You'd be the only two law enforcement officers in the state of Pennsylvania that ever uh, didn't turn a blind eye to this stuff. Can you give us just at least a, a township or something so we can put it in the incident and close it out? The township? We're in... Uh, I think right now we are in... Uh, right now, just where the incident happened with your dog uh, taking out the pawn. There was no incident. Fawn got up and ran away. I know, but the dog attacking you. The dog didn't attack it. He gave chase. He was proud. He was showing everyone that he could catch a deer, and he checked one off his bucket list. Deer got up and run off. But he ran off. The, 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 everything was fine. And it, that, you know, it, it, if that is a you know a dog or a service animal. Thanks. Appreciate it, Nancy. Hey, you'd be the only two law enforcement officers in the state of Pennsylvania that actually didn't turn a blind eye to this. Y'all be heroes. Y'all come out as winners on, on, on my channel and in the public. We appreciate it, Jake. Hey, thanks, gents. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Yeah, they were here for that dog thing. The dog thing. Don't let the, don't talk to them about the incident. I think I just got to win, man. I, nothing happened. Nothing was wrong. Hey, thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. Hey, they might have been good guys. I don't know. But you know what? So was uh, the other 29 that showed up to Walmart when I got stabbed, and they all turned a blind eye to it. So the, literally, these would be the only two people in Pennsylvania, that, uh, only two law enforcement officers in Pennsylvania that actually didn't turn a blind eye to it. So uh, stick with the channel, subscribe, stick around, and if they, I hear anything back from these guys after I send them all this stuff, um, I'll let you know, and then these guys can be heroes. It would be the only two Pennsylvania... Uh, law enforcement officers that didn't, uh, we're waving goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Thank you. Thumbs up.
Oh, no, no, no. I was just waving goodbye. Um, well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They would be the super duper heroes. I am, would pray that these guys are super duper heroes, but uh, um, I don't, uh, don't want to jinx it, you know, whatever. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you for your assistance. Bye bye. Thank you. All right. Hey, well, that was entertaining. Look at that. All right, just another side story. So, this shirt is like extremely offensive. Look at this nuclear bomb attack. Uh, what does this say? Oh, Super Troopers. Ah, look at that. This is Super Troopers. That's right. Yeah, this is uh, from when I used to live overseas. One of my favorite things to do was like collect t-shirts that made no sense in English. And they were hilarious because, you know, you're overseas somewhere and they think really highly of Americans and Americans are cool. So, like, it's cool to have English on your shirt. And it was like, so fucked English, you know. So, I actually have a really collection of, like, extremely odd and offensive t-shirts and I never wear out of the house. Anyway, I uh, hope you found some good cops. I don't think they'll do anything. Hey, y'all, thanks. Oh, knowledge, what's up, brother? Plead the fifth. Hey, man, it wouldn't have been as entertaining. I got to engage these guys a little bit. I'm a, I'm a, um, you know, I guess an auditor. I'm an investigative reporter. It's got to be able to tell the story. Do public records request. All this stuff, I don't even, yes, thank you very much. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, the, the whole thing was, was, was uh, hoping that this would happen. Or, and or somebody would post it on a PETA board and get really offended and bring a lot of noise to my channel because I'm, I'm uh, yeah, Dude, that's why I titled the video and that's why I think the entire reason why I did it is because uh, Like every like dog versus deer video gets like a million freaking hits So it's like a million freaking that would be like 1 million Google dollars, you know, like pff, free and you know dog did it everything was fine for it so should have skinned Bambi and it. No, nah, zero. They got weird laws everywhere, and there's game game wasting things. And uh, you know what happened? The best thing could have happened was what happened. It literally. So be safe out there. Hey, thanks, Shine. Charles, uh, not much hunting going on. I'm mushroom hunting. I'm a mushroom guy. Just zero. Just kidding. I, man, yeah, you're good, dude. <laughs> Way to keep your cool. Yeah. Hey, Google dollars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's why people say like, oh, let me Patreon patri you and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, literally, I don't want any money. I don't want anything. Like, the, the best thing y'all could do is just share and post this. Because if I, if I did monetize, they'd be able to sue me and all this other crazy crap. Um, it'd open up an ugly door. Uh, so I don't care. And that's not what I want. I don't want money. Um, but if y'all share, then like, uh, that's like free Google advertising, man. Like, screw $20 donating $5. Like, do five shares, man. That's like five Google dollars, man. I don't have to pay for advertising. That's like the best way I can help. Thank you. Touch my tootie. <laughs> Zero. Always oh, sure. Thanks. Derek. Derek D. They're wasting your time in there. No, man. I got a big bonus on this. This is great. Now people are going to go watch the uh, the um, uh, deer video. And then, like, more are going to go around. And then eventually it's going to wind up on, like, some, some, some social justice warrior board. And uh, uh, we're going to get free advertising. So... Uh, yeah, anybody else got any questions? I'm gonna end this. It's like raining outside. I'm gonna get the body cam footage of the day. I don't, I, yeah, there's so many things. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> Thanks, KP. Appreciate it. What crime are they starting to happen? Go watch the uh, Dog Catches Deer video. Uh, just watched it. Hunter of Feelings. Yeah, Herder of Feelings. That's great. I love it. I'm on it. Yeah, hey, the, the fawn was fine. It's just they, uh, white tail, when they're ex exasperated, they collapse. Um, and that's why I pulled dog off of them when I did. And we went to a safe distance where dog wasn't constantly freaking him out so that I could see if he would recover or not. And he got up and run off before I had to go investigate any further of his injuries. So uh, I think his feelings might have been hurt. And somebody commented today, they're like, hey, man, I think you just saved that deer's life because now he's going to be scared of people. You know, and I'm like, yeah, I mean, just if a guy and a dog not hunting, you know, we're hunting mushrooms. We're being loud. We're not sneaking up on anything. And uh, if a dog, the guy and a dog walks up on a deer, like that deer probably ain't going to last long on this mortar coil. So maybe, maybe we did. Maybe that was serendipitous, huh? Where's the evidence? Uh, I think the evidence ran off on four legs, four cloved legs, man. Four cloved hoof legs, uh, whatever. Ruminant animal. Hurdy words crime. <laughs> if you find a wolf chasing down a deer, then they'll go, where they go after you also. 
I did, probably. I don't know, man. Why does the federal order, fraternal order police have knowledge? Dude, hey, all I'm doing is documenting things, man. And like, I swear to God, that's the way it's always gone. It's just the conspiracy theories. g -star, what's up, homie? Go pull it, go. I know, my do dog again helped out. Dog, dog just got us a whole bunch of uh, airtime and watches and stuff like that. I love how they make you prove your innocence. Yeah, right. You know, especially because, good one, John Murphy, thanks. Especially because, like, I'm out on bail right now, so they could throw me back in jail, and I'd have to prove that my dog didn't do that from jail. Like, that's so crazy. Aren't they supposed to prove that you're guilty? Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah well, yeah, yeah the, you lived, look, do you see that? That, the per, that didn't happen according to the courts. So anyway, put in false. Yeah, G stop bullet for president. I know, man, dude, there would be world peace if my dog was president. Cause like everyone would just have treats and get on, you know, <laughs> chase squirrels. That would be like the zenith of 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 aggression around here, you know. So anyway, uh, they don't have to prove he's guilty if he accidentally criminates. Yeah, I know. And nah, they were waiting for me to talk on that. And dear, touch my dog's duty. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't end up in cuffs and they left confused. Well done. Thanks, Gyro. Appreciate that. Yeah, well, <clears throat> nothing went wrong. Nothing was going on wrong. No, didn't do anything wrong. Yep, dog got to help out. Vitor, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Uh, keeping our public land up. Did pigs coming off if you hit a fawn with your car? Touche. Yeah, we're yeah, they, 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 going down a rabbit hole with that. COVID, ah, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they they might have been nice guys, but anyway, uh, I will take them up on their offer. I'll tell them more about the way if if I get some movement from them, and I know that they're not cronies, and they don't have they actually have the law's interest in hand by doing something about all the illegal stuff I'm about to send them, then maybe I'll trust them and answer their questions. Because as far as anything, my involvement with law enforcement has been concerned, it's been to fuck me. <laughs> So, I, and yeah, again, I only talked that much there to wrap them up in hilariousness. So, uh, much love, YouTube69. Thanks, brother. <laughs> hey, I'm going to end this. Uh, thank you all. Appreciate Thank you so much for your support. We got like 400 some odd people watching. So, uh, yeah, please share my story. Whatever. Post that uh, dog dog's bucket list video up on dog dog want to show the world how awesome he is. And he's nine, man. He, he's a nine-year-old mutt. And I'm telling you, he's caught two things now. That he slowed down and gotten quiet. Before he'd be so young, he'd break and crash through everything and freak everything out. Anyway, I got my UPS guy coming here, and that makes the dog go off because the UPS guys trained him. Well, the FedEx guy trained him to eat biscuits. So now he does it to the UPS guy. And like, the UPS guy's my friend, and he's a good dude, and he likes dogs. And I'm like, no, my dog's not an asshole. He's just trained like that by the FedEx guy. He gives him fucking cookies and shit. So anyway... <laughs> No, the girl gave him weed, a ton of truth. She's related to the governor. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah, I'm getting on that. I'm getting on that. Thanks, Jaro. Pre appreciate it, yo. Carmen, nice crown. Uh, crown? What, head, head? I missed that. What's the best? Yeah. Eric thought that no talk. Pinky, what's up, brother? I saw you. I saw you in there. Uh, dog, the bounty hunter is great. I know, man. Maybe my dog could take over for him or something. Anyway, thanks, Kenneth. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm, I'm ending this live stream. Like, my shoulder is so wore out right now. I was trying to, like, not be a pussy about it. Anyway, uh, it's me and the G it's Gio. Gio, yo, what's up? Knowledge. You don't think she was sleeping in a tell me at all corruption? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll get into it, man. We'll get into it one day. Anyway, uh, appreciate it, y'all. Appreciate it. Sam Joaquin. Aw, oh, man, I'm wrapped up. We, they left, dude. They left. Hey, y'all, all your fans are my fans, man. So it's like, you know, whatever point. But yet, y'all know about Sam, Sam Joaquin Give me my big first start. Uh, so I really appreciate uh, him and his support that he's showing me through this community. So if y'all aren't familiar with his channel, go check him out. Because uh, viewing him and John Felix and uh, Disorderly Product, you learn a lot about what you're allowed to do, what you're supposed to do, how actions are supposed to go. And, um, you know, there's regional players that, that, that have a good representation in areas. And then there's, uh, they get big enough, their national players are so good at it. And it's a really cool community. So you gotta, gotta help out the fellow auditing community. Uh, it's hard to get your stuff out there when it's so suppressed. Um, so uh, I have to thank, again, San Joaquin. Thanks, big brother. Pre San Joaquin Valley Transparency. Thanks, big brother. Appreciate it, y'all awesome. Uh, this was in response to uh, my dog uh, actually caught a deer. It let it go live release, it was fine. Uh, the other day and we posted it uh, hoping that like it'd blow up on PETA boards and whatnot and get us a lot of exposure and the cops came. 
but they're gone now. Anyway, it's pretty funny. We played repeat for a little while. So anyway, uh, yeah, shrooms, shrooms are good. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's it should be chicken mushroom season. San Joaquin, Washington, Brazil. Hey, yeah, I'm I'm wrapping it up, guys. Hey, I'm wrapping it up. I'm sorry. Go go watch the beginning of that. It's hilarious. Uh, we played repeat pretty good with these guys. I've been practicing. I was, I see it again. It's a trap. Um, I was expecting them to come, so I'm like, man, I gotta brush up on my repeat skills. So, uh, <laughs> thanks, San Joaquin. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. This one might go somewhere. Uh, thanks, big brother. I appreciate it, San Joaquin. Knowledge. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, zero. Yeah, I, this, we're the community's here again. I love you guys. Thank you so much, guys and gals. <laughs> Uh, appreciate all your support. Uh, go check out San Joaquin. He's probably gonna go go do a badass edit on this man because we got some funny fucking shit on there playing repeat with those guys. So anyhow, uh, appreciate it and uh, thanks y'all. Thanks for sharing. Uh, take care of yourselves and much love for your much love for your uh, support. Thank you very much.